Hey guys, in this video you'll learn how to stabilize your footage with Warp Stabilizer. You'll learn the ins and outs of how to use it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you've booted up Premiere and got your video on your timeline, you can go into the effects panel, go video effects, distort, and there it is. Or you can just search Warp Stabilizer. Either way, once you've got it, you can drag it onto your clip. And keep in mind, if you've added any effects beforehand, make sure Warp Stabilizer is above those effects. So as we can see already, a blue bar has popped up on our screen, and that means it's already analyzing. So I'm just gonna stop that now so we can just run through the things you need to know. First is the result, and you'll see a drop-down menu. And when you click that, it will come up with two options, smooth motion or no motion. Most of the time I'm going with smooth motion because a lot of my videos are moving. But if you want to lock down your clip and make it look like it's on a tripod, select no motion. Okay, so the next one is smoothness. And this is pretty self-explanatory. How smooth do you want it? But just keep in mind, the more smoother you put it, the harder your computer will have to work. Next one is the method. Now you want to generally keep this on subspace warp, but you can change it if the clip doesn't look how you want it. So next to that, you'll see a drop down. And in that, there'll be four options. So the subspace warp, perspective, position, scale, and rotation, and position. So subspace warp is 4D, perspective is 3D, position, scale, rotation is 2D, and position is 1D. And subspace warp does every single one. Later on, you'll see how different methods make the video look much different. Next up is framing. Now this basically decides how much you want Premiere to do for you. So if you click the drop down menu, you'll have stabilize only, stabilize crop, stabilize crop auto scale, and stabilize and synthesize edges. You probably don't get what all of those mean, but it will make sense later. Now I'm just gonna keep the settings the same and click analyze. Okay, so it's done. That didn't take very long. Now let's see. That's pretty good. Here's with it off. That's a pretty big difference. Just for explanation purposes, let's just turn the smoothness really high. Now in that clip, you can actually see warping, or what I'd call it, jello. Now let's turn it to about 25% and see what happens. For most clips, I would usually do 25, but for this clip, for some reason, 50 works. Now, let's see what happens if we switch method. Okay, so let's switch to perspective. Now for that example, that didn't really change it too much. Let's see position, scale, rotation. And that seems to have a bit more jello. And now position. And obviously that just doesn't work at all. Let's just go back to subspace warp. Now onto framing. Now let's flick through the framing options. Now when you select stabilize only, this actually is a good representation of what Premiere is doing. Now let's put it on to stabilize crop. Here we see it crops it for us to the right size, but doesn't scale it up. And then once we put it back to stabilize crop and auto scale, it'll scale it up so it fills the whole frame. Now you're probably wondering, but what does stabilize and synthesize edges mean? You don't really need to worry about this unless you can't crop the image any further. And also it takes a ton of power, as you can see when I turn it on. Now if you click the advanced button, you'll see a couple options that you can choose from. But you won't really need to worry about any of this except for detailed analysis. You only do this if you want to just get a very slightly better result, although it does take a lot of computer power. Now when you check detailed analysis, you'll see it actually does the analysis once again. But it will probably take a little longer. Although for me it didn't take too long. That's all there really is to it. Now once you've got all your shaky clips together, you can do the same thing to all of them. 
but you can give them a colour grade and get yourself a smooth sequence like this. And now here's the before and after. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more content coming out very soon.